Bye bye. I've I come from a family deeply rooted, spiritual, ethnic, cultural, faith, loving God and Jesus and the Trinity for those of you who live those ideals. I was taught the Bible at an extremely young age. There are several passages that I just didn't understand until recently. 1 Corinthians 6 and 19 through 21 says, that's the question. Don't you know that your body is a temple? I didn't understand that. I watched, I think I'm old enough to say my people. I watched my people for several years run, shop, dance in church. I watched my grandmother pray. I watch her cry and mourn at death of other saints. But I didn't understand was why were we as a people feeding ourselves everything that would keep us from doing God's work via longevity? Why were we sedentary? I was told that you know we, we, we cook things and we eat things based on our culture. Which had, we started in the Great Depression back in the 1920s and 30s, and we were given all that was left over. I had an issue with that. Because it appears, based on history, that we as a people ate best, we exercised the most when we were slaves. <laughs> we sometimes get angry at the ideal of us being bred like cattle into the perfect working machine. But we've taken that for granted, have we not? Could you do the same amount of work that great, 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 great grandmother did? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because see, great grandma, she didn't have McDonald's, she didn't have church's chicken, she didn't have southern fried. She had to go out back mm -hmm. where she grew it, mm -hmm. raised. You see, and that's the ideal of the movement. That my sister foot called body by all. I won't say that I started it out of anger. Nor would I say I started out of frustration. I started out of sympathy. Because the information that I just gave you is worth probably thousands of dollars. Because now you're going to go out and go research what did my great 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 grandparents eat? Well, it probably wasn't fried, was it? It probably wasn't a frozen microwave dinner. What our great, 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 great grandparents didn't know was the way they prepared food, which was the way master taught them to prepare the food, was something that was going to keep them alive for a very long time and strong and healthy because they were property. Mm -hmm. You see, now, at that time we understood we lived by certain ideals because we were the property of someone else. But back to 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, whose property are we? You see, it is extremely hard to do God's work laying on your back looking up at someone called doctor. Mm. Mm. Now, body bio. What is body bio? Body bio is an ideal that came about based on a prayer. Personal trainer at a gym. Uh, the gym charged me a certain amount of money to train my clients. I had to charge my clients. My clients also had to pay the gym. And I said one thing. I said, God, if you get me out of this gym, I promise you I will help the people. So what did I do? I found as much information as I could. Called around for about six hours on Saturday morning and found the cheapest fitness program there was. And I cut the price in half. And that price was $55. I said, that's dumb. Nobody can get $55 at ATM. So I made $50. And that individual had a program for two weeks. So I'll just double it. The ideals of that, because why would I charge you money for what's going to keep you alive? There's an idea going around. You can make a lot of money off the ailments of others. It sickens my heart because it's a cycle. 
Have you ever noticed that when the gas prices go up, the dollar goes up? Mm -hmm. hmm. Have you noticed that when you go to a grocery store, it's extremely expensive to buy a fresh apple versus a canned apple swimming in syrup? Did you notice that it is extremely expensive to adhere to the diet that the doctor gives you after you diagnose you with type 2 diabetes? Did you know that type 2 diabetes was a choice and not given to you by your parents? Did you know that the way you are now is not the way God made you? It's the way we made us. You see? It's the love for the people that don't know what health and wellness really is. Health and wellness is not a bunch of muscles. It's not in a small ways. Health and wellness is being able to get up and do what you're here to do and be happy about it. Okay? Now, most people ask me, what do I do every day? Well, here's the, here's the God's name truth. Every day of this month, I do about 268 people a day. And I tell them the truth every day. Why are your prices so low? Why are you doing this for all these people? Why are you getting all this information? Well, I'm just doing what I was told. I told God that I would bless the people. I planned to bless the people for one month. But one individual came into my boot camp and handed me a $100 bill and reached over to give her change, her 50 back. She said, no, I'm paying two months. Forced me into a second month of my program. That individual never came back. Divine intervention. So I said, okay, God, if you want to use me as a vehicle to bless your people, that is not a problem. <laughs> At the same time, there are heartfelt moments. I have a lot of people who come into my program and tell me that their doctor has given them. They don't know what else to do. My doctor told me to find an exercise program, but he told me that I can't train because my back and my knees are bad. Mm -hmm. Well, there's an orthopedic specialist that's going to charge you several thousand dollars per meeting to fix your situation. So my excuse at this point for my prices and my program, I'm just trying to get into heaven, sure. I say that loosely, but at the same time, my heart breaks every time a client comes into my office and sits down. These things happen to us as a people all because of what no one told us. The most expensive ideal is the lack of knowledge. I'm not going to dress it up and say ignorance. I'm going to say what you don't know costs you, will cost you your entire life. When they found out that when you learn that what you don't know will cost you your life, you will spend everything you have to live. You will give your last dime. Body by O, the boot camp with Body by O is the opposite side of the luxury called personal training. Personal training is an extreme luxury. It's extremely expensive. Okay. It's for those who have the money to throw away on health and fitness. But at that point, it's not only health and fitness, it's a matter of health and look a certain way. But what about the rest of us who were born with high cholesterol? who were born with type 1 diabetes, who pushed themselves into coronary heart disease and all the other non-infectious diseases. What about them? I want to come to your program, Mr. O, with I spent all my money on insulin, insurances, blood pressure pills, and I just can't join the gym because they're too expensive. What's there for us? And yes, just like anything else, I'm tired. I receive a lot of Oppression because of what I'm trying to do, well, what I'm trying to allow God to do. But I need us to realize that it makes no sense for you to be worth, worth more on your deathbed than a lie. That is a lie. Okay? Why is it that your family gets paid so much money when you live here? Because you took out an insurance policy. Well, how about bless your family with longevity? The, the greatest thing I, I experienced in my life was seeing my great-great-brother 